Hello guys, welcome back to Just Kitchen again. Uh, this is like a follow up. Yesterday I showed you guys how to debone, to make a boneless cross pork shoulder. Okay, uh, we took the bone out, we tied it up, now we are going to cook it. I have the oven at 350 degrees and I'm going to put it in the oven. Yesterday we cooked the bone of the pork shoulder and I have saved the broth of it. With this broth I'm going to cook the red kidney beans. Remember yesterday we left the red kidney beans soaking in cold water. Now I will drain the kidney beans and I will cook it with the pork broth. I have 8 ounces of red kidney beans with 2 and 3 quarter cups of pork broth. Now I start boiling the, the liquid. I'm going to lower the flame and let it simmer slowly cooking for about 50 minutes to an hour. I want the kidney beans to be soft. The beans are already cooked. I cook it for 50 minutes and, and now are nice and soft. While the beans, while the kidney beans has been cooking, I have been cutting these vegetables. Uh, the ingredients that we have in here, I have two garlic cloves, sharp, three quarter cups diced onions, one cup diced butternut squash, you can use any other kind of squash you guys want. I have red peppers, one third of a cup diced red peppers, one third cup diced green peppers, half a cup scallions, quarter teaspoon oregano, one bay leaf, half teaspoon salt, the salt you guys can add it to your own taste, okay? And then I have one tablespoon chopped cilantro. So now we are going to start cooking all these ingredients together with the beans. In this large pot, I'm going to pour a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to saute the onions and garlic together. So we are sauteing the onions and garlic together, but I don't want it to get it brown. Now I will add the squash, red peppers and green peppers to the pot. And I'm going to saute them for a few minutes, uh, the vegetables. Okay. Now 
how the, the vegetables are sweating, I will add the beans to it. Now I will add the rest of the ingredients, the salt, scallions, cilantro, bay leaf and oregano. Everything together I'm going to add to the beans. I already add the rest of the, of the ingredients. Now I'm going to let it cook for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, okay, until the, the butternut squash is cooked. So now I have in here the ingredients I'm going to be using for the yellow rice. You guys can use any kind of rice you guys want. Uh, the cooking instructions, uh, follow the cooking instructions in the bag of rice you guys have. Okay? Different rices may have different time of cooking time or different amount of water. Okay? Uh, I have, I'm going to cook two and a half cups of, of rice that I have in here and the ingredients in here I'm going to start on this side. I have in here quarter cup onions, you know, you can use yellow onions, diced yellow onions. I have one garlic clove, sharp, quarter cup diced bell red pepper, Put a cup uh, red bell pepper, one tablespoon capers, one tablespoon cilantro, about one third of a cup green olive stuffed with peppers in there, with red pepper, one third of a cup sliced scallions. To give the nice color to the rice, I'll be using turmeric. I have here one eighth teaspoon of turmeric and quarter a teaspoon, teaspoon saffron. Salt for the rice. You can use the amount you you guys like for the for the rice. Okay. There is another. A yellow color for the, for the rice too that you can use a chiote or uh, you can use sazon goya that will turn the, the rice yellow color too. I have uh, here I have a saucepan with the uh, with the pork broth that I made from the from the bone okay and I'm going to add the turmeric and the saffron to the liquid together with the salt. Okay. Okay, so now we have a nice color on the broth. Uh, I have I put in there the saffron threads and the salt, turmeric and turmeric too. I here in this this pot. 
and I'm going to add a little bit vegetable oil. What I'm going to do is to cook in the oil the, the rice a little bit. Just lightly brown. That's, that's all I'm going to do. You see now the rice has changed color. Now you, it looks like a very white and lightly browning. Now I will add the water to it and be careful because the rice is very hot. The water is going to boil fast in here in the pan. Okay? I already had the, the, the pork broth is already boiling right now. Now I'm going to cover the, the pot and I'm going to cook it a low flame for about 20 minutes until the rice is cooked. Now I will put a little bit vegetable oil in, the, in this frying pan and I'm going to saute the garlic with the onions, pepper and the peppers together. Now I will add the rest of the ingredients, capers, olives, scallions, and cilantro. I'm going to mix it all together here in the frying pan. The rice is perfectly cooked, it's nice and loose, okay, you see, nice and loose, perfect. Now this vegetables that I, I cook in the frying pan, I will add it to the, to the rice and mix everything together.
I use I just took from the oven the pieces of pernil. Looks beautiful, nice. Uh, the cooking time for these pernils it took a, a two hours and forty minutes. Okay. Now we are going to slice it and serve it with a yellow rice and beans. All this John style. Here we have the end product, two beautiful dishes, roast pork shoulder with yellow rice and red kidney beans. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Take care my friends. Bye bye.